Hi everyone, Liam here with Archipelago and in this episode of Edit Room we'll be taking a look at the updated colour grading panel in Lightroom. Adobe recently gave what used to be called the split toning panel a massive overhaul, bringing with it a slew of new features along with a new name, colour grading. In order to take advantage of these new features you'll need to be running Lightroom Classic CC version 10 plus, Lightroom CC version 4 plus or Adobe Camera Raw version 13 plus. The updates are also available in the latest version of Lightroom Mobile. So here we are in Lightroom and we're going to find this new color grading panel right where the split tone panel used to be, just under HSL. So when I open this you're going to notice there's a very visually different interface than what we had for split toning. So down here we have these three color wheels and these allow us to adjust the hue and saturation for shadows, midtones, and highlights. So we had some of these tools in split toning. We had the ability to adjust the hue and the saturation for shadows and highlights using sliders, but we didn't have the ability to adjust the hue or saturation in midtones. So that's new. We also have new functionality with these sliders just underneath each of the color wheels. And this is a luminance slider, allowing us to adjust the luminosity of each of the tonal regions. So we can adjust that for shadows, midtones and highlights. Down at the bottom we have a blending slider and a balance slider and then up at the top we have the ability to view each of these color wheels independently so we have the shadows, midtones and highlights and then over at the end we also have another new feature which is the ability to color grade globally so these adjustments apply to the entire image we can set the hue, the saturation and luminosity of the entire image. So back in the main panel of color grading, I'm gonna show you how you can use some of these tools to adjust this image we've got in front of us here. So I'm gonna go for quite a classic split tone look. I'm gonna go for warm shadows and cool highlights in this image. So I'm gonna start off with the shadows. So let's jump into the shadows color wheel here. So the, there's a couple of different ways you can use this color wheel. You can either click directly into the wheel and adjust the hue and saturation by dragging your cursor around. So if I go for somewhere around here, there's another way that you can adjust it as well, which is using the two separate circles, one that appears within the color wheel and one that appears just outside the color wheel. So the one outside the color wheel allows you to adjust the hue independently. So I can just drag this around to select the color that I want. So I'm gonna go for something around about there. And then this circle inside the color wheel allows me to adjust the saturation. So dragging it more towards the center will reduce the saturation. Dragging it more towards the edge will increase the saturation. So let's go for around about there. Now there is another way that you can adjust the hue and saturation if you prefer sliders to this color wheel. If you go into the independent color wheel just here, you'll see this little triangle which gives you a drop down and this gives you the classic view of the hue and the saturation sliders along with that new luminance slider. So if you prefer to use sliders rather than this graphic view, you can do that just in the independent shadows, midtones and highlights sections. So onto highlights, I'm gonna go for cool highlights. So let's click over here in the blue section. Uh, let's have a little look. So I'm gonna adjust the hue. Let's go for somewhere around there. And let's just reduce the saturation to around about there. So now I'm gonna use those new luminance sliders to adjust the overall tonality of the image. And what's really cool about this is you don't have to necessarily use the hue and saturation wheels in order to use the luminance. So although I haven't set anything in the midtones for this image, I can still adjust the luminance of those midtones. If I drag it to the left, the midtones become darker. And if I drag it to the right, the midtones become brighter. So I'm gonna go for brighter midtones, but I'm gonna bring a little bit more depth to the shadows by bringing the luminosity down in shadows. And I'm also going to reduce the luminosity of the highlights so we get a little bit of a softer look to those highlights. Somewhere around about there I think looks good. Now let's move down to the blending and balance sliders down at the bottom here. So blending allows you to set how much each of these tonal regions blends into each other. So if we increase it they're going to blend more, if we decrease it they're going to blend less. So let's have a look at what this looks like on this image. So if I decrease it we're going to get a little bit more isolation between each of those tonal regions. If I increase it you're going to see this start to blend a little bit more. So I'm going to go for a little bit of an increase and what that'll do is it'll bring some more of these warm shadows into the midtones there as well. And then we've got balance and this allows us to swing the balance of the tonality either more towards the highlight hue or more towards the shadows hue. So at the moment it's in the middle so it's nicely balanced but if I wanted to introduce more of the warmth that we've got here in the shadows I could drag this to the left or if I wanted to introduce more of the cool toning that we've got in the highlight I can drag it across to the right. So for this I like the warmth that we're getting so I'm going to bring it down just a little bit and I'm just going to bring the saturation down of the Shadows somewhere around about there looks good to me. So let's take a look at what that's done to the image. If I turn off the color grading, this is before color grading. 
and this is after. So quite a big difference there. You can see that we've got more contrast introduced by using those luminance sliders. And then we've got a hue that we've introduced into the shadows, into the uh, highlights. And we also have the option to do that in the midtones as well. So there's one other cool feature that you can use in here. So if I jump into the mid-tones, I'm going to show you just in this section. So you have this little box on the left here, and this allows you to select the hue that you want to use for that particular region. So you press this little box and you'll get some default colors down in the swatch just here. But up at the top, you have a dropper. And if you click and hold the dropper, as you bring it across the image, it allows you to select a color from within the image to apply to that particular tonal region. So let's go and select the color off this rock just over here. It's a nice sort of sandy yellow color. And now you can see it's selected that in the color wheel. I can then adjust the saturation or I can tweak the hue if I want to, but I'm just going to bring that right down so it's very, very subtle. So just bringing a little bit more of the color of that rock into the midtones of the image. So let's take a look at before color grading and then after color grading. And it's just using one panel within Lightroom. So it's incredible how powerful this is. So this is before and this is after. Let's just zoom into the couple so you can see that in a little bit more detail. This is before and this is after. That's it for this episode of Edit Room. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to drop a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. We'd also like to know if you have any further questions about color grading that we didn't answer in this video. So drop those down below as well. I'm Liam, thanks for watching. Join me next time.